team. We aren't a team anymore. Um, I mean, uh, of course we're still a team. You can, um, be part of the fuck squad. <laughs> wow, me in the fuck squad? Wait, if I hang out with the good guys then, can we still have monogram track jackets? Yeah, or else they will make them. Huh? Okay. <laughs> so many voices. Okay, sure. Nice face. Ah, Lancer joins the team. Oops. You can follow behind us, you know. Oh, okay. I noticed you aren't doing that. Yeah. <laughs> but why not? <laughs> wow, this is cool. I've never been at such a big team before. Don't you have a legion of various guys? Yeah, but my dad forced them to listen to me, so they don't actually like me very much. Uh, well, you don't need those clowns anymore. Just chill with us. Aye, aye. Damn, he's fucking sketching, bro. Skirp. Man, I'm still hungry. It's like nothing I eat here matters. Just stolen more money for the bake sale, I guess. I was thinking of baking a cake later. Mmm, what's the catch? You have to stop making fun of me, for one. Pass. <laughs> Look, Susie, a candy tree. Hell, hell yeah. Damn, the last piece too high to reach. Worry not, Susie. I have a special transformation for times like this. Really? Watch and learn, team. Look, stool form. All you did was put your hands on the ground. Hey, don't act so jealous. <laughs> Got it. Ooh, tell me what it tastes like. Huh? You ever well, you tell me what it tastes like. Fine. Oh, candy. Tastes like uh, you too, I guess. Walking around with you guys feels nice, like I'm doing something important. That's because you're alongside the lightners, Lancer. Our purpose, darkness's purpose, is to assist them. It's the only way we can feel truly fulfilled. Really? My dad hates lighteners. He wants to. Does your dad seem happy? I'm not sure. Hey, uh, let's ditch the weird purpose talk. You're probably just glad you ate a weird berry. Yeah, I'm still boost from the juice. I mean, look, I'm not from here and hanging out like this. I also feel kind of, you know. Happy? Psh, nah. Psh, maybe. Look, everyone, we can do the castle. Yes, that's where I live. Me and, uh, my dad. What's that? <laughs> What's that black thing emerging from the tub? That's the fountain, Susie. If we can get there, you and Chris will finally be able to go home. Jeez, took long enough. Chris, Lancer, let's go. We're gonna die. The juice is loose. Are you sure there isn't another way home? The fountain is being guarded right now. If you try to go there, um, you might get hurt and... What? Come on, Lancer. No one's going to beat a team like us. No one gets our way. All we got to do is crush them. What if you had to fight? Everyone bleeds, right? Don't worry about it. Whoever it is, they'll be cold on the ground before you can blink. But Susie... What? 
I think I think I need to go. Huh? When are you gonna be back? Never. Hey, wait a second, Lancer. Why are you acting so weird? Susie, wait. Uh. The Lightners are approaching the castle. Get them! Dodge. Dodge. Lancer! Hey, what are you doing? We've cornered them. Wait. Oof. <laughs> you poor lightners. We were told to keep you in prison for eternity. Too bad. Would have loved to see you guys punch. Like it might take a while. Escape within here. They they look really nice on you. Visit the trash can. Anyway, now there's a to do. Chris, are you worried about Susie? She'll be fine. Well, regardless of how you feel, I don't think it would hurt to take a moment, close your eyes, and think about what she's doing now. It's me. All right, out of the cell. Where to next? <laughs> I want to see what's left. Uh, Chris, did you say something back there? I can't hear them anymore. I'll just go this way. Well, that's a dead end. That's Lanter's voice. Damn, not another one of these. Maybe I should go back and ask Chris. And make sure they... Lanter. I'll just...
Uh, I get it. I get it, you know. Get out of my way. And die. Out, peaceful style, you know. I can help too. I'll go talk to my dad, ripen him up. Hey, now we're getting somewhere. I'll head over right now. Uzi? Yeah. Are we still friends? Uh, of course. I mean, if you want to be. See ya. Phew. How am I going to get it past his dad like that? Come on, I'll figure something out. Well, that's why, okay, Chris? Hey. Susie, you came to save us. I knew you had the heart of a hero, Susie. Yeah, yeah, don't push your luck. No, it's my party.
talking. You're more about uh, groveling like total. Hey, Relsi. Uh -huh. Do as many as you like, all right? I'll go back to smashing heads, okay? Elevator basements just happen to have a lot of kids. Is it to compliment the enemy? Uh, are you serious? What could a guy say about someone trying to kill us? Ah, uh, Susie, if you're stuck, why not try saying something you wish someone would say to you? You are unbanned from free ham sandwich days. Nice, you guys look like you're gonna kill me. <laughs> That's a door. Hey, it's you. You're that peaceful lightener. Whoa, you even tamed the beast that was tormenting us. Beast? What beast? My back hurts, but life has never been. Yeah, it was. Dodge. Elevator to top floor. Currently stuck at the top floor till someone rides it down.
Let's go here. What the? Boo hoo, boo hoo, be he he. So lonely, lonely I be, but lo, three visitors standing inside. Who are few, few? Nice to meet you, Amra. I'll say. This is Chris and. So, what the hell are you doing in there? I am innocent. Innocent. I just wanted to play a game. Game. But the boring kings found such fun to be a little trouble. <clears throat> As punishment, they craved to imprison my body. But I'm fast, fast, clever, clever. And they lost the chase and locked up their entire race, building a prison around the whole world. Now I'm the only free one. Ah, free. But you're clearly behind bars. Things don't seem such from here, Lightners. Well, sounds like you don't need any help then. That is unso. I grow lonely in my little freedom. So, shall you play a game with me? Me. I'll show you what it means to be free. Find the key and I'll let you be free. Free. The key is hidden from the eyes. The old shopkeeper knows a secret. Wait, I want to talk to him again. Yo, we breaking this guy out, bro. It's time to free young Dab from prison. I forget if there's a door in there, so I'm just gonna go to where I know there is a door. Right here. Uh, 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 uh. Here. Mm -mm. Mm. Eh? What are you talking about? A prisoner with an odd manner? No, you couldn't possibly be talking about him. I see. After all the trouble I went through to lock him up. You want to release him? Hmm. Now that you mention it, it could be troublesome if he was left alone. Yes, perhaps it's better if you heroes dealt with him now. After all, it's not as if whatever happens will happen in the end, will matter in the end. Perhaps a little chaos might be fun. So then, take this. If you're so driven, find the other two pieces and get someone to fix them. I'll even give you a hint. Walk where the stars don't shine. Anyhow, if you succeed, come back here and tell me. Good luck. If you call this luck, no, it's more like a curse. That's us. Go where the stars don't shine. Like Among Us? Is that an Among Us reference? The worms have decided they to. <coughs> so the worms have decided to crawl out and play. Uh -huh. Who's there? We're <laughs> scout food. <laughs> I'm Roxas Cordos, greatest adversary. Thou may Claudus past all those otherest conundrums, but those were created by other weaklings. Now prepare thyself for the strongest puzzle of thou's life. Oil worms. God! What was that star? Oh yeah, that chest out in the middle of nowhere. I wonder if a path opened up. That would make sense. Helpers. Guys, if I don't solve the puzzle, then I won't get to see what's behind the gate. I don't remember where it was, though, so. Nope. 
not here. I think it was one room over. It wasn't. My tiny little brain. I think I need to, uh, I think I'm too far back. Yeah. Now we got a fucking. It's further, we have to move forward from the bake, bake sale. <laughs> the blocky foliage grows thick above your head. The power of the force shines within you. Bake sale. They became antagonistic. Boy, train, you're still 100 years too early to beat me. The enemies became tired. I was looking at the meter to see how much it was going up by. Blap. Blap. That was def that definitely took longer than uh just rearranging them. This is the room. Guys, I found it. Let me go over there, please. <laughs> Guys, I have to go where the stars don't shine. Hey, you two didn't mess with my hideout, did you? I wonder if hideout might be overselling it a little. Nah, I took a nap in there, so it's basically my house now. Officer Papito. Uh, 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 <laughs> I guess I, we're probably looking for it too early. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't read that one. Uh, let's go talk to him. Maybe he'll give us a hint. Find the key and I'll let you be free, free. Let's talk to chat. There will be hints. Just tell me if I'm gonna miss it, cause I don't wanna. I wanna see. I wanna do the. I wanna do a secret boss fight. Obviously, it's the fucking clown boss. I know who the clown boss is. I've listened to the song. Room with stars, the box in there? How do I get to the box? Can I get to the box yet? Walk to the sides? There's a path in the darkness? Love that song. Meow. I didn't try walking up against the walls because it didn't have like the uh the what's it called? The smooth edge. Like this right here. Is this is this this is the room, right? What the F? Remember what the shopkeeper said? Yeah, he said where the stars don't shine. You saw it? <laughs> no way. I'm looking at chat. God. Oh. Oh, yeah, I saw one of these come out halfway. I was like, I, I assume that was like a bug. Ah! need one more. Ah! Remember the puzzle you skipped? Oh yeah. We haven't seen all the rooms though. Or maybe we have. Ooh. 
I'm not used to controlling three people. I think I should have gone left. Ding! It's the order of that the rooms appear. So it's diamond. I forget what's down here. I don't think it's a room. Okay. Diamond spade. I wonder if that counts. Roxel's card was standing here. I think making block pushing puzzles is a totally hunky hobby. Well, we can we can guess the rest, I think. Oh, the the thing fell. Flirt. You ordered Susie to flirt with the enemy. Uh, and hell no. Ah, Susie, it's okay if you don't know how. What? Shut up. That's not the problem. Are you sure? All right, look, wise guy. I'll show you. Watch this. Ahem. So, uh, come here often? And Hathi felt awkward and left. Hey, get back here and flirt. Let me flirt with you. You ordered Susie to flirt with the enemy? Hell nah, let's see, let's see Ralsei do it. I suppose it can't be helped, Hathi, your beauty is just transcendent. Your hair is like a waterfall of, wait, uh, do you have hair or? And Hathi felt awkward and left. Oh, oh dear, wait. Not too easy, huh? You ordered Susie to flirt. Oh my God, Chris, I can't do it yourself. Said some sweet lines. The enemies were deeply enamored. All right, we don't want to go upstairs yet. Diamond spade. Art. Diamond spade art club. Looks like Hattie sold all the gems and replaced them with beds. Looks extremely well slept. Hattie looked at you kindly. Your sins against Hattie were forgiven. Looks like a bed. Will you rest here? No, you won't. It's not your bed. Wait. Fuck. What did it say? No! I got bed inspector achievement. Nice. Bed inspector inspects all beds inexplicably. Nice. Diamond spade 
Heart Club, Diamond Spade Heart Club, Diamond Spade Heart Club, Diamond Spade Heart Club, Diamond Spade Heart Club, Diamond Spade Heart Club. I forget where the place is. I think it was down here. Diamond Spade Heart Club. Diamond Spade Heart Club. No. Diamond Spade Heart Club. fuck was it? Up here. Ah! Diamond Spade Heart Club. That's not it. What? What? The bathroom doesn't count? Oh. That makes sense. Oh no, that couldn't be it. But yeah, it, yeah, it can. Spade's definitely on the top because he's the uh, the leader or whatever. Sticking the same thing. You're too easy to flatter all the enemies. Can't believe my bozo teammates. Everything for weaklings like you. 
Hyper nopers. Ah, that key is seething with energy. You must let me fix it. Hoo ha! Let's feel my technique. Hmm, this key has a terrible energy coming from it. Please understand that I only fixed it so that you will never have to use it. I'm about to use it, you dumb bitch. Ha-ha! <laughs> Isn't there a save spot down here? Yeah. Wee! The key, the key of marvelous fun is about to break free. Won't you let yourself outside? You put the door key in front of the door. The door key created the door. <laughs> visitor, visitors, now we can play, play, but then after you, I can play with everyone else, too. So what are we playing exactly? Oh, it's a super numbers game. <laughs> when your HP drops to zero, you lose. That's the kind of game you want to play, huh? Then I gotta warn you. You're dealing with a couple of sharks. <laughs> Shark to shark, I wouldn't have it any other way. Now, now, let the games begin. I wonder if I should try hitting him. There's no strategy to defeat this enemy, good luck. I need to use that yet. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you have reached an end will you try again then the future is in your hands Yeah. 
No! <laughs>
Ah, shit. But fine, I'm exhausted. You kids tired me up. Now I will sleep for the other 100 years. Unfortunately, you kids cannot have such a pleasant dream. From now, a nightmare will awaken in your hearts in the shadow of the night's hand. Lightners, can you stop it? Ooh -hee -hee. Either way, a mischief, mischief, a chaos, chaos. Lightners, from inside your little cell, take this and do your strongest. <laughs> Easy, dude. I love that song. German <laughs> did that first try? Well, yeah, but I've never played Undertale, so... Never played it. I'm AFK, then we continue. Play Undertale next. I'm not gonna lie, dodging shit like that is fun. That gameplay is fun. So maybe I will play Undertale. I don't know. I know how it ends though, so. Beep, 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 beep. Hold up. Chicken pot pie. Bear be real quick. Hello, and welcome to Henry's Kitchen. Well, the holidays are over, and if you're looking for a great way to gain those Super Bowl pounds, might I recommend... Henry's Hearty Chicken Pot Pie. Chicken Pot Pie, as legend has it, is a direct descendant of the Australian meat pie, which is very similar in form to the British or American chicken pot pie, but nobody really knows for sure. Oh, and this is Archie. Um, the lady upstairs died and she had this dog and I guess she didn't have any family, so the landlord asked me if I wanted the dog. So I said, sure, but I, unfortunately I'm going to have to take him back because I don't know if you can tell. He, see, he's got something kind of fucked up with his tooth there. And uh, they didn't tell me that, so legally I can take it back if uh, they didn't mention that the dog was defective. So um, I'm going to take him back. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to apply our pre-rolled pie crust. It's supposed to sort of unfold nicely here. Um, shit. Perfect. Okay, we're going to set this aside while we prepare our fillings. We cut our onion. Onions are known for their lacrimatory quality, which means that they induce tears. 
Apparently when you cut an onion, you're breaking the cells open and that releases amino acid sulfites, which mix with the sulfenic acids to produce a volatile sulfur compound called propanethiol S-oxide, which stimulates the tear glands. So if you're ever cutting an onion in your kitchen and you start crying, you don't have to worry, it's perfectly healthy. Okay, now for the fun part. Let's start putting in some of our fillings. Two cups of canned chicken breast. Put in our onions. Go ahead and put in some corn. Go ahead and put in our peas. Put in some cream of chicken soup. You know, years ago there was a French performer named Le Betteman who used to close his show by sticking a rubber hose in his anus and farting the French national anthem. And of course back then everybody just thought he was crazy or they laughed at him, but it turns out he was right. And simply pour it into our pie crust, like so. Now we just need to put another crust on top. This shit again. Okay, now we're ready to put it in the oven. beneath skies of blue and bicycles built just for two and candlelight and long beach walks and puppies stuffed in Christmas socks so world of love that I'll never live in crying all alone in my kitchen thanks for hanging out with me today on Henry's Kitchen and tune in next week when we're going to make Henry's Valentine's Day baby cakes, cake pops from baby cakes. Oh. Guys, I'm back. Guys, I'm back. I've never played Undertale, but I've watched uh, playthroughs. There are some parts I don't remember, like the mid game. Wrong way. Wait, this is where the bedroom is. Okay, those are switches. Oh. 
Okay. Did I fuck up? really thought that I was all I had wrong game. It's time for you to feel my really power and behold my ultimate puzzle. How about you? Ah, ah, <laughs> gullible worms. That wasn't just my rule, my ultimate puzzle ever ways. Waste one better one right here. Can, can we see it? No. So I just have to re-enter the room then? Oh no. What's the point of those uh, switches? I should have gotten in uh, bought some items. I'm the first party member. I'm in charge of the DPS. Dance and party soundtrack. Oh, let us take your coat and put it in the toilet. Ha! Which we don't even have. Please try the baseballs. Yeah, eat so many you choke. Do they eat sports? Then we can all play Twister. Just stay out of our way. We lose every even by ourselves. Athy is the second party member. It's the healer. She was in charge of catering the party. Unfortunately, the cake she commissioned was destroyed in a field somewhere. That's a risk that one always runs when ordering a cake. It's a boombox. It's playing clubs music. <laughs> it's a giant baseball for parties. Actually, it seems the giant baseball is a soccer ball that's been painted over. It would be easier to draw that way. It's a tree for parties. It's a bed for three people or one three-headed person. I'm the bed inspector, motherfucker. shop welcome to my shop you ungrateful worms I am the Duke of Puzzles Ro Ruxel's card. My hobbies include us calligraphy, law keeping, bu bug keeping cages, and long walks in the dungeon. Artist thou one of my admirers, worm? Ha ha ha, so that I might amass with funds, worm, an army of buns, so that I may crush us thou like fermented grapes, the most delicious and adult beverage. Vengeance! Ha ha ha! And how I'm oh how I amused myself. Our Lord King Art a cruel and terrifying monarch. However, he is also a brilliant. For he is also brilliant, for he decided to, 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 to appoint us to me as the Duke of Puzzles after pretty much everyone else was fired us or placed inside of a cage. Truly a benevolent ruler. His son, on the other hand, is more troublesome than a fistful of fleas. He always asks me the worst queries and calleth me his lesser dad. Our relation is none, you little water beetle. I placate you for your father's sake. I do not wish it to hear your MP3s. I would rather listen to the sweet song of death. How is he anyhow? Did I just sell the yellow card? Uh-oh. I don't think I did. Amber card. Oh yeah, I got the uh, thingy. It doesn't raise my magic. Oh yeah, it does. That's a lot of rue. It's a homemade recreationally. 
It's a hole made presumably for fun. There's salsa buried in the ground here. You found 20 rupees in the hole. Unfortunately, that's not a useful currency here. It's some kind of digging implement. What? Bicycle is lovingly tucked into bed. I wonder if these do anything. the elevator. Nope. Enough worms! Thou may have cheated through mind puzzles, but in combat thou shalt be scattered about. Come, knaves, prepare for battle with... Whatever this is! Huh? It's the enemy from earlier! But its crown looks different. Yes, with my control crown, I may control any dish-shaped life form. Oh no! It looks like it's in pain. It looks the same. Yes, the control crown is painful, but I'm certain this creature will feel it relief when it sees how much more pain thou'll be in. Susie's idea. Susie, you want to act? Aw, what's your idea? Uh, well, how do I say this? I kind of need you for this one. That's fine, Susie, I'll help. You want to apologize to it for earlier, right? Nah, I just need you to stay still. Chris, we gotta get that crown off of its head. Help me throw Ralsei at it. I've been jabated. The crown loosened a little. <laughs> that works. This is the same as bowing. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Why, brilliant, just brilliant. I knew you couldst do it. Thou great hero is thou. Thou see it, that was merely a friendly test of thine abilities, but thou hast won and now nothing blocks thine path. I personally could not be less of an obstruction. Uh. But you, good luck be with you, heroes. Mm, I almost healed. Glad I didn't. It's a throne. It seems to have been damaged in a struggle. Wall banners, they seem to have been through some kind of struggle. Riches, they shine with avarice. It's quiet. Ooh, quiet. <laughs> Hey, there's Lancer. Father. Lancer, my son. Have you dispatched the lightners as I commanded? No, but I did even better. Turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and... They're alive? Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. They're Susie, she's very purple and strong, and... Where are they now? 
Um. <laughs> hey. It's nice to meet you. Roger, Ledger, my son. <laughs> yes, father. Do you remember what I told you? Don't get too attached. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. They care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are scum. No, they aren't. What did you say? Let him go. Wrong point. <laughs> you want me to let him go? But how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be, Lightners? Don't listen to him, Susie. He'll... He'll... Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lightners. What the... You traitor, come back here. Alright, enough already. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. Do you? Ew. I'm the bad guy. Abandoned by the Lightners, his heart became cracked with hatred. He cannot be reasoned with, but don't give up. Oh, dare you come here, Lightners! You tried to reason with the king. Violence, Lightbringer, your very existence goes against our own. By the Knight's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. The will is changing. Talk became courage. You that left us in the shadows stripped of meeting. Oh, that's it. Listen up, Lancer's my friend, so if we can get by without hurting you, then... If I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Alright, you want to see what I can do, huh? Also, they tried to reason with the king. You might not realize it, but this is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we try, we can all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you will not live to realize your naivety. Now, perish with the pathetic lightners you worship. Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. For the knight has a fear. Light that pulls the fountains from the earth. Holy fountains whose shadows are creating a new world, our world. Haha, uh, now do you see our new purpose? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Hit the corner, bro. <laughs> no, my God. Soon this world shall be blanketed in darkness, and darkness shall rule it. Then you shall, you may see what it, you may see what it is like to live in despair. Ooh. Oh. No, enough talk. Fall before the chain of justice. Ah, oh, you're quite strong, aren't you? Yes, I'm very strong. If I keep fighting you like this, then... Eh! It seems that... Night, I shall not fail you. He failed. Enough. There's enough. I see, I see that I cannot defeat you. I have grown exhausted from our long battle. Lightners, I. Perhaps I, I have been too cruel. The truth is, I was not always this way. There once was a time where darkness and lightners lived in harmony. A time where darkness could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. Perhaps, perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all of this. Come now, Susie. He's gonna stab us in the back. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King, none of us really want to fight. You can just tell us about your worries. I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Yes, friends. That sounds lovely. Cough. My apologies. I am... I am not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Oh, don't say another word. Ew. Ew. There, you should be all healed up. How do you feel? Let's see. <laughs> Never better. Ew. Ew. Did I say you could get up? Reese. Oof. Oh, spare me the heroics. You, you're the leader, aren't you? So, what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say? Young one, let me tell you a secret. Quiet people piss me off. Did you think at him real hard? Hey, get away from my bread. <laughs> or what? You'll kill me? Nah. Uh, So what's your plan then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid lightner. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you. Nah. But they might. Lancer? Everyone? What is the meaning of this? 
Sorry, Dad, you're being overthrown. When I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners, everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me! Now I'm the dad. You idiots, the Lightners are your enemies. Fools, I'll kill you, I'll kill all of you. Yikes, I think someone needs a time out. Go to your room, Dad. No! <laughs> all right, Chris. No! <laughs> Chris, Susie! Oh, you're all right! Yeah, it'll take more than that to take us down. Chris, Susie, I'm sorry because I healed the king. We almost... We almost... Susie, you were right. I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? It's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then... You might just hurt someone you care about. Aw, oh, Susie, you're beginning to sound like a real hero. Uh, don't get used to it. Then I... I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I... I guess that's right, huh? Well, uh... See ya. <coughs> hey, Chris. Wait a second. Oh uh, my, look, I know you want to give a real goodbye to everyone, right? I mean, I'm all for leaving right away, but, you know, we could go back a sec if you wanted. All right. Well, then what are we waiting for? Let's head back. Chris, Susie, you came back? Uh, well... Chris just wanted to say bye, you know? Oh, actually, everyone here wanted to say goodbye, too. Please let me know when you leave, all right? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. Way to go, kids. Now you can go back to making the puzzles we love. And thanks to your donation, I could buy a new hat and some shaving cream. Got nothing left to teach you now. Life's got no tutorials, so try your best. Best, you're the best. Honestly, we owe you. You're absolutely omies. But great for work. Darn, Horsey, you've done us a big help. All of us at peace can live in peace. Boy, my nostrils can't thank you enough. You did it. You asked for that rotten tyrant. I'll happily accept a bounty of credit for my contributions, unless the king reappears, in which case I did nothing. Wonderful work, me, mine amigos. Thou hast toppled the tyrant, freed Stark Creeds, truly at history shall not forget. The tale of Ruxel's God and the three of heroes. What about the part where you tried to kill us? Ah, an interesting historical theory, is it not? Nonetheless, the evidence precluded such a thing. What evidence? I shall give it thou a plate of worms for thou silence. Deal. Thank you, I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the by, I asked Seam to come here, but there wasn't any interest. You know, the ball can say something like, thank you. I knew you could do it. The future looks sweet, like a pile of bees puke, which is honey, I think. A kingdom with so much hope. Hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our next B-Day, too. We'll have one soon, if that's possible. Athy looked at you proudly. Kiss. Limit one. What's going on? I slipped through everything. What ho? What about us? Aren't we going to be restored as kings? Ah, my treasure is unharmed. Carry on, then. I forgot he locked them up. Us animal society would be okay if the uh, it's okay if the king stay in the cages as well, but they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. I'll be honest. At first, we weren't sure who to make our new king. I mean, Lancer has always been a bit of a pain, but after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be fine. I have high hopes for the new king. He's already mandated a 400% increase in salsa production. Susie, blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along. I thought you were going home ways. We were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know. Oh, really? Oh, that's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. Huh? I mean, I didn't not want to, so you're the king now, huh? 
Yes, and I'm changing some big rules. First, lighteners are now legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was uh, protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea, but it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, I guess we'll just see, I guess. Uh, we'll see you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. You tell your prince I say goodbye as well. Is he leaving? No, he's just a sweet little peach. Mama Amoeba, what a celebration. This calls for a cake, and this time I'll make it out of metal so animals can't eat it. Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe it's shrunk to respect you. I can't go back. Mamba Amoeba. Chris, Susie, are you leaving? Hello, oh, I know. I'm just following Chris. Guess we'll walk to the right if we are. Uh, 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 Susie, Chris, are you gonna leave? Uh, uh, um, I just wanted to say I uh, uh, I really enjoyed meeting you two, and hey, can you stop mumbling into your head for a second? I can barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, Chris Susie. I'm <laughs> um, Chris Susie, I. Uh, I hope I can see you again soon. Uh, Next time I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, all right? Question marks? Is that my brother? Right? It's gotta be. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, dude. Ha -ha. Let's go, Chris. It's Azrael? So why is he here? Is this the fountain? <coughs> Don't know how, but... Feels like we stumbled into something really important, didn't it? Didn't we? Well, there's no need, there's no time to think about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. <laughs> what happened? I can't see anything. Hey, watch it. Huh? Didn't use classroom? How'd we get here? <coughs> hey, Chris. What, uh, what just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Anyway, as I was saying, let's just tell Office we couldn't find any chalk. It's a worn down stuffed animal. It's a light switch. Playing cards spill out of the deck in the closet. It's a checkerboard. There are pawns strewn on it. The door is locked. Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alphys will know better than to ask us next time, huh? Not 
dot dot dot. Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Go back there tomorrow, right? Uh, I'm going back now. It's a worn down stuffed animal. It's Narnia. You ran the water fountain. It's lukewarm. Miss Toriel's written in cursive on the dry erase board. Seems like it hasn't been erased in a very long time. It's a computer. It's desktop wallpaper as you and your brother dressed up for Halloween eight years ago. Poster of several basic shapes. Kids' books. Some of them used to be yours. Throne room of the gods. Kind of primitive sculpture. Who knows what it represents? <clears throat> you check the time. It seems to not be time for classes. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't read that out loud. <laughs> ring, ring. Reese, whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called and you never picked up. Is your poor mother worried sick? Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? You're spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. You continue your adventures a little longer, but when you return home, you're going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. Click. Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is 2,583 days overdue. However, Chris, I am a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I'll reduce your fine to a mere 6423. Consider it, Chris. Ah, did you forget what it looks like? The front is perhaps a mob dragon wearing lipstick. And as for her clothes, I believe they are as well. You know, Chris, I think you'll know it when you see it. Chris, what's up? Katie's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. You could say I'm having a ball, ha ha ha. Gotta go to Golag. So tempts to be hard. He's reading a comic book full of hot demon guys. There's an anime review. Read it. Yes. Teens Corner Monthly Toon Review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2. This reviewer had Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series. Let, let her tell you it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears. The darker storyline and more mature themes. The second one treats the viewer like a real adult. Instead of like an animal that will die if it goes 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention Mew Mew's character in the first one is more stale than the ramen I ate at home by myself with the lights off. Teens and older should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, the anonymous yellow lizard. <clears throat> you decide not to read it. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. Computer Lab, please surf the web responsibly. In fact, maybe don't do it at all. Oops. Please remember my name, please. I wrote a book to help you remember by Hot's Fire Guy. Lord of the Hammer, first in the award-winning fiction series by lauded historian Gerson Boom. There's a book here. You lick the page. It's delicious. This must be what they meant by flavor text. It's an unlabeled book. You look inside. Oh, I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no, they're putting it into their catalog. Oh no, I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry.
You look through the window in the computer lab, and there seems to be a dog inside working at the computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You have to trust the dog. Oops. You look through the window of the computer lab. Now the dog is just playing with maracas. Not doing any work. This might take a while. Hey, punk, get out of the road. You're blocking traffic. Oh, wait, it's just the Asgore's kid. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring. Nothing ever happens in this town. I just wish something would shake things up. Huh, you got something to report? What? There's a dark world inside the school? Uh, sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyway. That's just a, that's a job for the school board. Aw, oh, you want me to help? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. Alphys? Who's Alphys? No idea who you're talking about. Why, did they do something illegal? Gotcha. If I see Alphys, I'll tackle him. Oh, they're as good as dead. So it's like time travel? It's probably like a dream or some shit. Police Chief Undyne is supposed to be directing traffic, but all she's doing is staying in the middle of the road, the street, yelling, get out of my way. She's the best. I never, I feel really directed. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just run away. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. The obligatory hospital piano shrunk to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it. Blink. It's one of the sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside of a doctor's office. The beads march grimly along their set path. Ah ha ha, Dad, I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I die. I'd literally die. Go oh well, sweetheart. First time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up to her and told her she was a hot piece of work. Really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> Ha <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3 beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of, kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Oh, well, maybe, maybe you shouldn't wait. Dad? You should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. Ha <laughs> ha Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I got, I better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again. What's his name? Nerdly? It's, um, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. Ha ha ha, Dad. You're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. This isn't weird that I'm just standing here. Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. All right, Chris. Just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Mother make you come here? No. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. Wasn't too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. Ha ha ha. Okay, okay, seriously, you want to chat or something? So why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so it's just some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out here in a gif, then I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. Chris, even if we've gone apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh, hey, now that Asriel's off to college, you think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? Heh, <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, woo! She'd always fuss about going, but once the party started, yikes, man. Once she hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie, I got smashed to the snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though, couldn't complain. She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet, couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in the headlights. Remember, she used to be even afraid of humans under the bed. Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, that's what the stuff about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me, just that in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? <laughs> Then what the hell are you here for, Chris? To gawk? You thought this was the zoo or something? Come on! It's a bunch of roses in a glass container. Hey, I'm happy your dad brought me flowers, but roses? What is this, man? Beauty and the Beast? This ain't gonna work, man. We're both beast. It's a sink. Hey, Chris, that sink really more interesting than me? I should name Rudolph Rudy Holiday. 
Hey, Chris, you forget my name or something? This castle's white wizards relegated me to healing this to this healing chamber, but my blood is boiling for battle. I looked inside the cupboard. A very small obligatory piano is hiding inside. Classic one to ten pain scale using the ice E as a model. Zero pain is happy, a ten pain is happy and sweating. Regular sink. It's a clone of the other sink. Perhaps there was originally one tall sink that was cut in half to create both. The line diagram showing a bunch of lines in a circle. You knocked on the door of the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. They just closed the blinds. Seems like the police aren't really feeling it right now. Police tape is blocking the way. The tape's at least it reads. Nyaar! Where's Charisma is about zero. No, it's negative, but she works hard and has a good track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics, rarely. Now, as she act icy, she always keeps her office AC up full blast. That chill I feel is, is this what politics feels like? Sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor is busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. Oops. You're here to complain about your teacher? If you don't like her, please blame your mother for getting her hired. Hey, short stuff. Would you ha possibly need to... Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance is too low? Are you too... Eat too much candies? Lost your frisbee in the wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. What? Don't talk to you like you're a kid? Fine. If you need someone to change your diaper, go ask the cops with an apostrophe. <laughs> That's not how you spell that. <clears throat> it's a small pine tree. It's a painting of the town. It's a chair. Maybe it's into politics. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here and on a school day. There must It's locked. Google Gamer? What? I'm just listening to the sounds. Miss Legendary Bunker feels bad, man. Shira, a karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Muttler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. <clears throat> Crystal, snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Harrison Boom Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Take a rest here if anyone asks your writing. Go 
Oops. You're alive. Nice. I'm working. This uniform's mandatory. Uh, we'll take the special, and do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. Now, pinch sprinkles will work, too. So, for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, the cream and cinnamon latte, two bunny parfaits, and a piece of firewood? I like the vibe of this waitress here. Maybe I should sign up, too. Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. What if I just served coffee? Nah, that sounds like a lawsuit waiting to happen. Ice Wolf does not like ice in drink. Ice Wolf likes ice. To be drink. Ice Wolf also likes ice-themed mascots. Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I put all of my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. Woo, I sure love pancake. Hey there, haven't seen you in a while, hon. I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and order the special. Of course, things happened, and then all stopped coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate, and you two would sit down at that table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? Got the hot chocolate on the house, hun. Don't be a stranger, all right, hun? Rave reviews and autographs from various normal townspeople. Ice me up! Ice me up, boss! Ice me up! Ice me up, boss! Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 pizza flavors? We've got normal, cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pepperonis, and more. Stop on down at Icy's Pizza. Oh, God, someone's actually here. Uh... Icy's Pizza, your number one spot for a piping hot piece of pizza. Hey, wait, wait a second, I recognize you. Little buddy, it's me. Want to chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Stop. Make no mistake, little buddy. Icy's Pizza is hell. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing. Be a team player, there's no I in pizza. Yes, there is, you just took it out. But it's okay, little buddy, I've been saving up to go to college where Azzy is. Then I'll get a theater degree, become a famous actor, and let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. You know when Azzy's coming home? You can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. He's went to cruise around town like old times, picking up, for example. Chicks. Which, as a matter of course, may not have actually ever happened, but one time Undyne made eye contact with me while she was writing me a speeding ticket. Ah, yes, little buddy, good idea. Meet the Rogues Gallery. Blue ears, soft served, obsessed, no concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushies on me and giggling. The warrior, thankfully, absent due to pizza related injuries. <clears throat> Constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. Purple guy. Man, that guy, you gotta. Actually, does that guy even work here? Ah, my co-workers. Where would I be without them? A happy place, little buddy. A much happier place. It's fine, little buddy. You don't have to watch me suffer. Just enjoy your freedom while it lasts. Entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all the employees are outside in costume. Sans Undertale. Hey, look over. <laughs> it's Sans Undertale. Oh my god. What voice, though? I only have like three voices. Hey, who look who's walking around. How are you, kid? Who the hell are you? Hmm, you know, good question. I'm Sans, your friendly neighborhood skeleton. What's up? store behind me. Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. So not a complaint to the guy who runs it. What's up? I just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why? Got anyone I should know better? Me. Whoa there, tiger. You can't just jump straight into friendship. It takes time. 
All right, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whenever you feel like. You got Sansa's number. What's up? Alphys? Yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Thought she was part of the mob. She opened the case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. Paid in small bills. Then slunk out of the, slunk out of the place, pajamas trailing on the floor. Anyway, our relationship is uh, purely business. So uh, I guess I'll just let her do her thing. My mom. Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. <laughs> She's great. Come to the store to buy some chocolate kisses. Then she's got to lock her door to stop you from eating. <laughs> you sound like a fun kid, huh? Nobody. Harsh, but fair. Store. Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. Yeah. Oh, you got something better to do? Me too. Anyway, I'll be standing here doing nothing. Hey, bud. You busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Yes. Wow, you answered quickly, huh? That's not good. I'm a total stranger. You should probably hesitate more. Well, I guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just going to be you and my little brother. <clears throat> he needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. No response. But the distant trussle of bones. Are you the human that lives at the top of the town? Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? <laughs> huh, that sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Yo, Chris, you survived Susie. Haha. -ha. I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like one time, me, Snowy, and Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then when the ball rolled over to her, she just uh, froze solid and kicked the ball as hard as she could right into the Officer Undyne's car. Then Undyne came out smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. Ha <laughs> ha. Yo, Chris, you look kind of annoyed. Everything okay? You calm down, dude. Susie's not here, huh? Huh? You look even more annoyed. <clears throat> Woo! You're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alphys. It's not fair. Ha ha ha. If I skip class... <clears throat> My dad had never let me hear the end of it. Ha ha ha! That's actually not even remotely funny. Woo, you're lucky. Oh, shit. Oi, Snowy, what did I tell you about knocking on the door so hard? Don't do it! It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know. <clears throat> oh, Chris, you're okay. I, I was really worried when you didn't come back. What did you, where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know. You're not in trouble. Well, let me know if you need anything. Oh, uh, Chris, did you want to talk about something? Oh, these flowers, they're from your dad. He always asks how you're doing in school, then gives me a bouquet of them. Actually, that he always gives me... Ac that, actually, that he always gives me flowers really makes me wonder if he, if he likes... If he likes the awesome comics I lent to him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and can kick my ass. Oh, Chris, you want to talk about something? Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So in return, I can let you borrow um, my homemade DVD collection of The Simpsons. You know, the sitcom about the middle-class monster family. It's got every episode in all 28 seasons. It's the funniest, most quotable show ever. Ooh. Huh? You don't want to watch it. That's okay, Chris. Oh, this saucer of milk? It's for my kitty, Mew Mew. She's the perfect angel. Huh? What does she look like? Well, I've never actually seen her, but ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing, so I like to think there's a cat. Uh, my cat. Okay, um, if you ever need help with homework, my office hours are in this disgusting alley. <laughs> um, tell your mom I said hi. Dirty trash can. It's well, trash can kept full of well kept flowers.
Lil Chrissy, like, what's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Uh, I'm not even actually your aunt. Oh my god, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like, anything though. Your choice. Oh my god, Azrael, like, what a cutie pie. Do you remember when he, me and him went to the dance? That was, like, the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch bowl all over him and danced inappropriately in front of your mom and got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. Ha ha ha, that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Ooh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We, like, totally can't connect at all. <laughs> Yesterday, I was asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no. Then she, like, told me my playing is an anti-blessing from Planet Hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my freaked up little sis. Like, that green girl next door? Oh, my God, Chrissy. She's, like, my life villain. Like, the other day, I went to see Cat Panthers 2, and the only other person in the theater was her. Then I went to QC's and ordered her cat, cat Pacino, and she, like, was already drinking one. She's such a copycat. A uh, copy gator? Copy Saurus? Copodile? Cro I don't know. She sucks. Oh, you gotta go? You got, like, homework? You should, like, let me help. Ha ha ha. JK, I totally don't want to. Laters. Oh, Chris, like, if you want to come in... Our cat flap is like always open to you. Hey neighbor, neighbor, what's when's your brother Doug gonna come by? Ho ho ho! My girls would love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? Ho ho ho! Can't blame your brother for leaving town. He's out there getting a big brain in the big school. Hope when he becomes a big shot, he remembers us little guys down the street. Eating oranges and getting our stomachs pumped. <laughs> Can't blame him. <laughs> it's a broken grill. It smells like burnt cat food. Chrissy, like long time no see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Uh, the chick next door drives me nuts. I keep seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? Doesn't she realize she'll never be me? Honestly, her whole family's like so trashy. One time her sister served me a coffee and I swear it was ha half cat fur. Like, get a hair mat, girl, for like your whole body. Go away. Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us big kids? I was like, yeah, of course, just get us some burgers. Then like, amazingly, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fry soup, then a dozen of mi miniature cakes. They were so good, I ate like six, then, then I like suddenly got so sick I had to go home, man. So like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? Aw, that's the way to talk to your almost sister-in-law. Nah, I'm joking, but like, remember that time I played Truth or Dare with Ali? I like, made him give me his first kiss, then your mom found out and he kissed someone, and like, basically, she dialed 911. I swear your family went to church like, every single day that week. Ah, Chrissy, you just want to say hi? That's adorable. Now get out of here. Ah, I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you prance on home? Oh, shit. My apologies, beautiful. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a nobody. I'm telling you, they're not home right now. Are oh, you just want to talk to me? Is that my dad? dum dee dum Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I? Oh, Chris. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well, now make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. It's a flower. It's a cash register. There's not much change inside. Some kind of catalog. There's a car magazine underneath. Hey, Chris, I was thinking. Perhaps when Asriel comes home, we could all go to the diner, just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? Then we could all clean out my truck, but...
photo of your mother and seven flowers. A reindeer looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. They all look happy. All that's inside is a jar with a single pickle in it. You decide to pass. <laughs> I've had fridges like that. It's a small TV on top of some superhero comics. An air mattress, certainly not king size. Chris, do you want to sleep over? You could use that air mattress and I could uh, use those bags of soil. Perhaps not. Divorcee feels bad, man. It's a door. It's locked. What the? Oh, Chris, before you go... Here, for your mother. Our secret. Have a great day, Chris. Say, Chris. Oh, yeah. It's his truck. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. <laughs> Nothing better than hanging at the lake with my best bro, watching the waves go by. True. It's a metal picnic table. Cigarette butts lay on the ground underneath it. Stick your fingers into one of the holes of the table? Yeah. Your fingers don't fit through the top anymore. You try from below. Your hand became covered in cobwebs. Hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so um, I actually got a few things ready for you in case. Oh, wait, sorry, I can't right now. I forgot my house key again, and sorry, Chris. I'll help you later if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Um, Chris, did you want to talk about something? Susie, that's right. You were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but everything turned out okay, I think. Um, Chris, can I ask something if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her, if that's okay? <laughs> she's nice. What? She's a nice person? Really? Like, really? Honestly? Truly? I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Wait, this is another trick, is it, Chris? Like, when you put ketchup on your arms and told me it was blood? Really? You're serious? You're totally serious? Gosh, then maybe I should try talking to her, but if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. Though, honestly, if she's nice, I might die, too. Anything. Uh, are you feeling all right? Normally you're not so talkative. Oh, I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Um, Chris, is something wrong? Why did you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure he appreciated it, but gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. Forgot I, forget I said anything. He. Mother her with, when she's working. Tell said hi. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake up. All this time, all right? These are from him, are they not? Uh, well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for them. <laughs> Chris, since only you and I are living here right now, it feels just a bit lonely, does it not? But fortunately, sharing a warm, freshly made pie is the perfect cure for such a condition, as long as I get to eat some, of course. Chris, honey, you have grown up so much. Someday soon, you will be going off to university as well. Remember when you were little? You asked when your horns were going to grow in. So we bought that headband with the little red horns on it. Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? Remember that video game you and Azrael used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. We even had a birthday for him themed around it. Your father painted all the eggs with the spots on it as decoration. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eating green eggs. 
Chris, perhaps you should go to bed early tonight. You do not look quite yourself. Hello. You have reached the hotline for idiot babies. Please press 1 for idiots, 2 for babies, 3 for idiot babies, and 4 for none. Ah, you're a baby. To tell you the truth, I'm one too. Let's try our best, okay? Click. He gave me the wrong number. Still cooling. It's only you. Go to bed, this chapter of your adventure will end. Will you go to bed? Yes. Decided to go to bed. I'm sleepwalking. It's murder time. Mmm. Kalima. Time to kill. But I did everything right. <laughs> Motherfucker. When the light is running low and the shadows start to grow and the places that you know seem like <laughs> your choices don't matter. There's a light inside your soul that's still shining in the cold with the truth. The promise in our hearts. Don't forget. Kills, bro. <laughs> My game closed. Where is, uh, does my shit continue if I download from itch.io? It probably doesn't matter. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Insert this too. This is chapter one and two. Uh-oh. There's an FAQ. <clears throat> it will load my save. Yeah. Um. It works fine if you just get it on Steam. I already downloaded it. I already downloaded it.
Oh, cool. Motherfucker. BRB. I've been reading a lot, so I need to go get some water. <laughs> Say goodnight to my kid. Wait, what'd that say? Is he gonna like fuck the fish up? Nah, we're good. <clears throat> Hope I don't get fucking. Am I gonna get banned for this? You've seen this one? You have. Change game to chapter two. Oh my god. It's already chapter two. Well, if you've already seen this one, take this. Nick and Molina Copany Live Fish on stream. I don't know who that is. Also, um, you guys remember that one time there was like some chick that got banned for like dropping a fish in a market? You know what I'm talking about? You remember that shit? How far we've come. The pooping in toilets. Of Muhammad Ali. Here we. Hello everybody and welcome to Henry's Kitchen where today we're going to be making Henry's family style baked spaghetti. Spaghetti or spaghetti is a long thin cylindrically shaped form of Italian pasta which is made from flour, durum, semenola, and water and goes back to the 12th century according to the Tabula Regeriana of Mohammed Al Idrisi. All right, the ingredients we're going to use are two thirds of a pound of lean ground beef, 14 ounces of tomato sauce, 14 ounces of diced tomatoes, three ounces of tomato paste, one half a teaspoon of rosemary pricks, half a teaspoon of ground mustard seed. A uh, quarter of a teaspoon of parsley flakes, half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of basil, red pepper, but I have cayenne pepper. We'll do a half a teaspoon of that. Some salt and pepper to taste, half of a uh, teaspoon of garlic salt, and of course, our one package of spaghetti. Half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Half a cup of mozzarella cheese, pepper, diet. up our saute pan here a little bit with the olive oil. I've got a brand new 12 inch aluminum. Now let's throw in some of our seasonings. Now let's add our tomato sauce. Now let's just stir it all up. 
they really don't make movies like they used to. I always thought a good movie would be about a lovable loser type guy, but he makes planes for a living, and he's always drunk, so his planes are always crashing. And then he meets Gwyneth Paltrow's character, and they fall in love, and she motivates him, and then eventually, like, she helps him win some kind of big plane contest or something. I haven't really figured out the ending. We're going to let our sauce simmer for about 30 minutes. Meantime, let's start cooking our noodles. So as you can see, I have kind of a small pan, so I'm going to have to break these. Ow. Fuck. Shit. Okay, we're going to cook these spaghettis. Let's just drain our pasta. Let's add our pasta to our sauce. And again, stir it up a little bit. That sucks. for joining me. What I miss? Fuck. Shut up. Honey, are you awake? Wait. Is that a, a knife? No. <laughs> Chris, did you eat all the pie? Is this your knife oh, in the empty tin? Bombs. Is it not? Oh, Chris. Am I going to have to lock the oven again? Well, hurry out of bed. It's time for school. There's five dollars in your brother's drawer. Take it. It isn't yours after all. It's a birdcage. When the door's closed, there's no escape. On the computer's desktop is a folder called Epic Game Stuff. It's a poorly drawn design for a game. Seems that the last boss is a creature with giant rainbow wings. Doesn't this seem like this game ever saw the light of day? Underneath the bed is an old cartridge of Cat Petter's RPG. Caddy and Caddy can be seen faintly written on it in gel pen. Did it? It changed around the, the buttons. What the fuck? <laughs> the, 
The confirm button is now the sprint button, and then the uh, sprint button is now the confirm button. And after a long night, the sunrise is always the same. Is that blood stain? It's stained. I saw I saw that, but I was. It's what they call you. Doors locked. How to draw dragons at the bottom of the drawer. The purple character of the cover is dressed immodestly. Your brother will never return this book. Act as there's not much to say about it. Is there time to read books just generally? I can't go poop. Not yet time to wash your hands. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple scented shampoo and a gallon sized container of pet shampoo. Oh, God. There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. Floral sun has increased. It's a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. Cheriel, the beloved living room chair. Book of hymns. Well, shall we go? It's school time. Chris, there you are. Even Susie showed up before you. <laughs> Hey, Chris. I knew you were going to be late. I would have showed up on time. Wouldn't it? Susie, please don't kick your desk. Treat school property like you treat people. Okay. Next time I'll aim for the vitals. <laughs> That's not what I'm... In any case, good morning, class. We have a lot to go over today. First, we're starting the reading from page 142. Any, any volunteers? Um, I guess I could read the... Uh, trouble yourself not, Noel. I will valiantly take this blow of humiliation. Um, that's okay, I can. Ahem. Page 142. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Times are pretty good, times are pretty bad. Mediocre times, iffy times, so-so times. Listening to this, your eyes began to close automatically. Have a nice day, everyone, and please remember your group projects. Well, I'm Chris, are you okay? You're I'm sleeping all class. Don't worry, I'm not mad, just concerned. Usually you only sleep through the start. Good luck and rest well tonight, okay? Blah, blah, blah. Chris, this whole partner thing, you didn't lose sleep over it, did you? Huh, Chris, that's, uh, good, I think. So maybe you were just staying up late talking to Asriel online again? Ah, uh, wait, you can't do that, right? I hope the internet gets fixed soon. I want to revert to my primal form. Chris, get a good sleep tonight, okay? Buff embracing heroes are now edited to be four inches apart. Dialogue about proper distancing at the school dance. Or if your mother had some influence on this change. Check the time. It seems to be not the time for class. Well, look who it is. The school zombie. You were sleeping like a corpse all class. Heh. <laughs> What's the matter? Had trouble going Betty by last night? Heh. <laughs> Me too, Chris. Like I could sleep after yesterday? Just waiting for today felt like years. Did all that stuff really happen? Lancer, Ralph, say everyone, are they still... Look, you've been wondering the same thing, right? Come on already. Eh. Uh. All right, Chris, this is it. Moment of truth. Everything we've been waiting for is just behind this. If we uh, open this and there's nothing inside, will uh, we still be... Screw it. Let's just open it already. Uh, Susie? Yeah? Well, hey, what uh, the hell are you doing here? Oh, sorry to bother you, but, um, I... Well, I just... Birdly and I were going to the library to do some research for our own group projects, and if it's okay, um, would you want to come, too? Oh, Chris, you can come, too, I mean. Uh, I mean... We're, like, uh, busy with, uh... Chris, he'll be out here. What do we say? Crime. You know, just committing crimes. Just gonna do some crimes and go to jail? Forever? It sucks. Oh, um, well, uh, 
That sounds, um, just... Have fun, you two. I'll, um, be at the library. Chris, if you could bring her by later, it would mean a lot to me. I'm um, actually, wait a second. Susie, I, um, I uh, have something for you. Huh? Okay, see you, bye. It's a lunchbox. Full of chalk? You had chalk the whole time? And didn't give it to Alphys? What the hell, Chris? Here, you hold on to this. You got the chalk. Wait, Chris, what the hell was that? Why would Noelle ask me to do homework with her? Death wish much, does she want to fail? Wait a second, wait a second. Chris, did you notice how nervous she was? And like, blushing and stuff? Chris, you don't think she, uh, is onto our secret identities? You know, this dark world stuff? Damn, we gotta keep this under wraps, Chris. It's our thing, you know? Anyway, enough waiting already, right? Let's go. Persona. <laughs> Here we are. Mm, Chris. Chris, Susie. It's been ever so long. Yeah, yeah, it's been, what, a day? Oh, that is short, isn't it? It's just that I've never had friends before, so I've never waited so long to see them again either. Fine, I guess we'll try not to let you die of loneliness. I bet Lancer wants to see us too, right? Hey, wait a second. Where is Lancer? Where's everybody? Worry not, Susie. You'll see them in a moment. Just wait here, all right? Okay. And this better not be some kind of prank or something. Chris, I have something to ask you. I need you to return to the light world and go to the old classroom to the east of the closet doors. Side, so gather everything on the ground and bring it back here. Could you? She's baiting me. So, or else, say you're not gonna put your hat back on? Why? Did I look cuter before? You think I'd look cuter now? It was just a nicer seeing less of you. You're making me blush. Chris, go to the old classroom, bring everything back here. That's where you need your general life. Head to it. Hurry the hell up, Chris. The longer you take, longer I gotta spend with this weirdo. If you're bored, Susie, we could crochet some team scarves. Wait, crochet? Isn't that the uh, game with the hammer? Ah, uh, it's like knitting. All right, long as I get to use the hammer. To the east. Gathered all the junk off the floor. Turned it into a giant dusty ball. Doors locked. Uh... Hey, Chris, so where is every one? Guess who's back, clowns? That's her. Hey, Chris, do you know what you did, but hell yeah. Everyone's here. But, uh, what happened to, uh, Lancer's castle? All gone. Gone? Right, when Chris sealed the fountain, that dark world disappeared and turned back into a normal classroom. So where's Lancer gonna live now? Don't worry, Susie. We'll conquer Ralsei's castle on her as her own. Chris, as you bring back Dark World denizens here, the power of our fountain will transform this town more and more. From now on, the enemies we spare will be recruited to our town, so let's keep sparing enemies, okay? Anyhow, why don't we all have a look around? We can head north towards the castle. I have a special surprise to show you there. Ah, not if I surprise myself first. Last one there is fresh and fragrant egg. Come on, Chris, you gotta let him beat us. Yes. 
Ah, thou hast transplanted us to thine castle town, and truly a magnificent to the town of castles it art. But ho, oh, hmm, something art lacking it, it feeleth. Wouldn't thou, guys, perhaps it bringeth an evil ruler or something? Answer hath been announced me, vice father, eh? For henceforth I do all the cooking and cleaning. Perhaps if I should have seeketh a new employer, eh? Oh, I am Chef Lancer. Try my delicious hand-formed cookies. They are free for a price. What's the price? Zero dollars. I now pronounce it you, cookie and wife. Wait, I'm still regenerating from the last one. Well, well, welcome to our top bakery. I am this bakery smith, Malleus. I do not know what any of these strange tools are for, but using my skills, I can fuse items to create new ones. Oh. I wonder if I still have my equipment. I sold none of the items that matter. Yeah, I still have my items. What? I can't remove her shit? What? Yep, I'm an idiot. Oh no, I can't remove it. I'm the one who gave that shit to you, bitch. Seems Hathi likes this place. She hopes you'll find enough beds to inspect. You'll lose your bed inspector title if you don't inspect enough beds. I don't want to lose that. Mama Miba, welcome to our top bakery. Our special chefs spin baked goods at the top of their class. It's a clean start for us here. Sukiri. What? Mama Miba, I wanted to run the bakery, but someone is already working there. A cafe that serves pastries. What a disgrace. What sort of humiliating thing will happen next? Oh, these are all the people that we spared. I see. Hey, boss, I'll have a dark candy starfay. Sure is great to be here with my best friend, Hathi. Hathi seems fine. Lemonade, please. Jukebox is broken. Feels like you might never find a working one. Goodbye. Hee <laughs> hee. Welcome, travelers. So we are here now in a new world and right off the heels of defeating that clown. Incredible. Oh, what's that? Seems like he gave something to you. That's right. You must not have noticed it. That crystal. It's nearly invisible, but you've been holding it this entire time. Here, I'll take it off of your hands and appraise it. Incredible to think he had a shadow crystal. Shadow crystals so-called because you can only see their shadow. It's all a premonition, but I get the feeling you may find more of these. If you continue to defeat strong adversaries like him, that is. <clears throat> if you can gather more shadow crystals, bring them here. I'm sure I can stitch together something incredible for you. A Chaos Emerald. You can defeat more strong adversaries. You may find more shadow crystals. Try your best. It may be tough, but I'm sure it will be worth it. The Chaos Emeralds. Blah, blah, blah. Make my stuff. Ooh ha Let's feel my technique. You got silver card. Hmm. Money up. Maybe we should make more. You mean the Chaos Emeralds? I 
I need more bucks. Let me be clear. I need to fuse my silver card. How come I can't... Did I already make the, the burger? Oh, my inventory is full. Nothing but garbage noise. I made another item. The shack. Rest. We don't have that. I've got so much junk in my inventory. Oh, did I never buy the burgers because my inventory was full? I think I did buy them. Boo, bitch. Omega Burger. It'll take two bites to finish. Nice. Wait, I have a ton of space. Make my burger now. Yeah. Shut up. Shut up now. Oh ho, welcome to Poop Town, or so I heard it's called. Yes, it is called that. Thanks to you, Commander, we've been liberated. I hereby declare today National Ham Sandwich Day of Independence. It's Poop Town. This guy always seems like he's enjoying life more than me. Maybe it's because he's a higher level? Bow bow. I'm but just a block. Oh hell yeah. Wow, our house is a dojo? Makes me want to fight. Can't we go to sleep? It's a party every day, and I'm the oldest. We're the same age. Hee hee hee. Looks like fighting wasn't in the cards for us. Lucky for you, just hope you don't meet my friends. Okay. What? Finally, a dojo for people that are normal shaped. I will train myself for tur the tournament. Hey, boss, boss. Hey, I'm so glad to have a nice boss. I could shed a tear, but I won't. I'm on the job. I'll cry at home with the kids. Boss, you're strong, but lo there's always time to learn. Next step after tutorials is training. So me and the boys got you together a dojo. Complete our battle challenges and gain some fabulous prizes. Meanwhile, you might get a little bit tougher. We're going to make you the strongest, boss. Yeah. Joe's life savings. Learn how to spare like a champ. Boss, you can act and spare on the same turn. If you know Chris's act will give an enemy 100% mercy, spare them on the same turn with Susie or Rousey. Oh, it's got a mercy bar now. You say shave Jigsaw Joe's Shabal? Oh. Oh, boss, you're sparing me. Wait a second, I got something else to remind you of. Boss, it works the same with making enemy tired. If an act will make an enemy tired, use Ralsei's Pacify right away.
Susie told the enemy a bedtime story about beating them up. The enemy became tired. Rousey cast Pacify. You did it, boss. If you can manage to spare enemies right away, battles will go a lot faster. That's all. Amazing battle. As for promise, here's your reward. You receive Joe's life savings, one dollar. Hey, boss, how can I help you? Guys, I missed one. An amazing battle. As promised, here's your reward. I'm rich. Give me my club sandwich, bitch. Topic long. Choose a topic that Clover likes. Uh, party. What the? Ooh! Little bitch. You can't stop me. Ow! Thrash not uh. dance. We don't actually have to graze anymore. I'm not a cow. Uh, trouble sports. Cheating. No thanks, wrong. Is it that bad? What? Oh. Uh, cute boys. Oh. I'm going to spare you now. Amazing battle, as promised. Here is your reward. Hey, boss, how can I help you? My stuff now. I'm Battles Master. Ask me about battles. Uh, hole. We reached our monthly funding goal. I will now talk about our hole. It was dark, filled with the darker... What? Doll flowers? Fed from a subscription by our followers. Working hard. No bank, no lender. We received one unit of lingual tender. Thanks for donating. Uh, shuts aren't always as they appear. The bigger they are, the less to fear. You'll only get hurt a little inside. Take your pride and learn the size. Yep, I already know that. Bed for three people. Okay. Bam, bam, burp, burp, burp. It's a manual. Read a topic. Recruits. If you spare or pass by enough enemies, they'll be recruited. Recruits will appear in your town. Wonder what happens if you get up them all. You can check the areas, recruit status at save points. Certain bosses are excluded. Uh, item storage. You will now have access to a storage at menu of save points when you're out of space. Okay. Cool. So that's where my burgers went. Controls. That is not what the controls were before. I did it. It's my burgers. I found them. It's time to make an Omega burger. Use them together, Billy. Where do we go? It's a little... 
It's a bit scary moving to a new place, but as a ball, there's nothing to sphere except sphere itself. <laughs> Prince Ralph say I will keep your hat erect until you need it. Until then, please allow me to pretend to be a wizard. hi -ya! Uh, just wanted to show off your huge house, huh? No, what I want to show you is upstairs. Oh, I nearly forgot. This is where I cook. You cook everything. You cook everything in a giant witch's butt. Of course, cauldron cooking is very convenient. Here, Chris, Susie, have a cake. Um, um, um. Uh, well, maybe a little thick on the frosting. That, that was for sharing. Hey, anyone was free to make an interception. Okay, now make a chocolate one. Why don't we go upstairs first? Two F living quarters. Shit. I made rooms in the for you in the castle. Rooms. You can stay here whenever you want. Uh, th I'd be happy if this place could be like a second home to you, a place that you can go no matter what's happening outside. Yeah, we'll we'll take a look. It's a bed that's been carefully crafted, suitable for a bed inspector. The stand for your manual. I thought you might want to keep it in here in case you wanted to read it. Where is it then? It's a shelf. All sorts of keepsakes we put on here. Wardrobe full of all sorts of different clothes. You could wear whatever you want. And Susie, this is your room. Mom, I tried to make it something you'd like, but you could put anything else you want in here too. I really hope you like it. My own room, my own room, huh? I guess that's pretty cool. My own room, like this. How long did it take you to do this? Well, uh, since I saw you two, I... Man, you're a real weenie, you know that? <laughs> I think she likes it, Chris. Uh, jealous I got the cool room. Look, Chris. Cool room. Clothes drawer full of spiky and dangerous clothing. All the clothes are rippling each other, ripping each other into shreds. Hell yeah, jealous, Chris. Dizzy, you didn't have, you didn't get to read the manual, so I put it over here for you. Cool, I'll read it before bed. That'll put me to sleep. Damn, there's everything in here. Pine cones, chalk, moss, jars of salsa, pieces of ice, black crumbs from the toaster, jawbreakers, oh, and like actual food too. Cool spike bed. Now I could stab myself during the night. Finally, some convenience. Cool. Ew. Lancer, you aren't gonna believe how sick my room is. A room as sick as you? Whoa, I wanna see. I'll keep digging holes until I reach your room. Uh, you know, it's got a door. A door? Wow, Peach Boy, you went all out. I love that my floor is full of holes. Wow, it's even better than I remember. I even have my own bed now. Now I don't have to sleep in a hole anymore. I thought you already had a bed. No, <laughs> no, that was for the bike. You found 20 rupees. Blah, blah, blah. I meant to look at the hole. It's a hole made recreationally. Dug for fun, salsa, some kind of digging implement. It's a music player. Listen to the contents? Yeah. It's full of cartoon splat noises. What? Hey, Ralsei, what's up here? Oh, just more rooms I'm renovating. It was your room up there? Uh, yes, I still um, haven't dusted it, though. Yeah, like we need to see your nerdy glasses collection anyway. Sorry, work in progress. No, what do we do now? Feel free to explore the town until you're ready to leave. Uh, like we're gonna leave now, right, Chris? Door's locked. It's violently protecting the jail. Nice. We're still behind bars for some reason, but it's okay. We've grown to love this hellish place where we dress as animals. We decided to dress as kings. It's cultural exchange. Oh, the Lightners. Have you come to humiliate me? Uh, no. 
Mr. King, the lightning has re returned everyone here safely. If you're willing to reconsider, then... What? Live in a kingdom ruled by you? The Lightner's little patsy? Staying in this cell is far less humiliating. Now if you will excuse me, my giant hamster wheel is getting cold. We have nothing to discuss. By the way, is my son happy? Like you care. You were gonna throw him off a cliff. Ah, uh, your prejudice made my bluff too effective, I see. Besides, even if I threw him, he would just... Bounce. My son is a bouncy little pumpkin. Ah, <laughs> ah, cute. We're done talking to you. How about a strawberry cake as a gift? There's a slice of cake in your fridge, Susie. But it's not cauldron fresh. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. I don't think I missed anything. <clears throat> All this reading has my my throat in pain. Oh, it's quite a wonderful town, really. Thank you. So why am I alone here? A bit of self-reflection, I suppose. I do realize I was quite a coward before, so I wanted to say, well, I still am my cards. I cannot handle society. For now, I'll be living at the top of this cliff. When I'm ready to meet society again, I will be back. Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful home. I will not use it. There's a hole in the wall. There's nothing inside. Society left, didn't he? Hmm. I reckon uh, I knew when this would ha happen. It's not no fault of yours. He'll be back one day. Experience by eating clothes. Such is the way of the worm. Looks like the clothes are nibbled. Take a bite? No. No bother. It tastes awful. Susie. 